What up, Laker Nation? I'm going to get to the uh, recap for the uh, trade deadline. Uh, first, uh, the Lakers made a, a minor trade today. They traded um, Marcelo Hertris for um, Tyler Ennis. Tyler Ennis, a 22-year-old point guard you know, out of Syracuse. I think that's just more of an audition for them. But that trade, I don't think the Lakers really was looking um, much into that. But um, he also going to be a free agent at the end of the year, so... I guess this audition is bringing in a young, another young player, and they had uh, several deals on the table for Nick Young. One of them was Toronto deal. Toronto wanted Nick Young bad, but the thing was, PJ Tucker, they wanted him more. So they had the Lakers on hold since yesterday, because the deal would have been Jared Selinger and one second round pick for Nick Young. But the thing is. They, they, um, it was like an offense defense type of thing, and they more so looking for you know a defender. And PJ Tucker was their um first option, so they went with PJ Tucker. The same deal, Jared Sellinger, but they got two second round picks instead of one. Um, Phoenix was looking for a first round pick, they couldn't get it to. That's what um made took that trade um to the end to do because you know they was holding out for a first round pick, so. Toronto got their first target who they wanted. If that deal didn't um, go through, Nick Young would have been in Toronto. And also, um, New Orleans wanted uh, Nick Young also. But they would have had to, you know, put like two two of their players in the deal because the Lakers did not want Alexis Agensa. He's a center and he had like three years left on the deal. That wasn't going to work for the Lakers. And also they had, like I said, with the salaries would have matched uh, Nick Young. It would have, they'd had to put like three players, then the Lakers would have had to cut a couple players to, to fit them in, and then also, they players like um, uh, Dante Cuttingham, he had he didn't play much, and I don't think he's gonna opt out his contract. He had a player option for uh three point two million dollars. He 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 might stay in that deal, so the Lakers ain't one chance that, and also um Quincy Pond Dexter, his contract. Go into his contract, go up to two two eighteen. It's only three point eight million, almost four million dollars. But the Lakers didn't want that, so that was two contracts that possibly could have been six million on their books next year. Because you know Quincy Bond, I mean uh, Cunningham, not having a good year, he may keep that uh, stick with that um, player option, and also um, um, Tyler, I mean not Tyler, but Pond Dexter, make it almost four million. And that would have just been on the Laker books next year. And Lakers was going to do that, sacrifice that just for a second round pick. It wouldn't have made sense. So those two deals I know was on the table for the Lakers. You know, but uh, the Lakers didn't want the New Orleans deal. And uh, Toronto deal just happened. They pick who they want to get. So, you know, that's the recap. You know, this video short. And, uh, you know, subscribe. Check out my uh, page. You know, check you later.